Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the show. Great to be here with you today. Dr. Stephen Cabral, board certified doctor of naturopathy, host of the Cabral Concept. Excited. We have so many new listeners from all around the world tuning in. So we thank you. We appreciate you being a part of this community. Wanted to go over the surprising benefits that I've been researching and finding out about hydrogen water. And before we get into those, I want to share with you my top 10 for today. And then we're going to actually get into specific diseases and how hydrogen or molecular hydrogen can actually affect those. But interesting enough, about how it works in general. So whenever I look into adding something new to my practice, I'm pretty slow as to the recommendation. And the reason is, is that once I make a recommendation, I don't like to recant on that. So I make sure that the information that I provide you has been well vetted, has lots of scientific research uh, around it, and it hasn't just been over the last year or two. I want something that with years of essentially outstanding research and double-backed based scientific studies, meaning that it it wasn't just one study that saw this, it was corroborated by multiple studies. So all of this to say is I've been looking at hydrogen water and is it something that I want to begin to recommend? Now, after all, all water has hydrogen, right? So we've got two hydrogen molecules, we've got one oxygen molecule, and we've got billions basically of those molecules in, in each drop of water. So what we're looking at is how can we get more hydrogen into water, and will that bring more benefits? That was basically kind of the hypothesis or the theory, the research going into it was, is more hydrogen in the water better? Because there's a lot of companies with hydrogen water basically popping up. So I said, all right, let's look at this. And I had colleagues that were recommending it that were, you know, they're very smart people. And I said, well, if they're recommending it, they've probably done the research. Let me look into it for myself, though. I like to be someone that stays skeptical, that keeps an open mind, but, but definitely skeptical. The research has to be there. And obviously, the efficacy in real life. I don't want to just look at PubMed and says, oh, this works on 16 mice in this particular study. OK, fine. You know, OK, it worked in that study on these 16 mice in a very controlled environment. Is it working in the real world? And anecdotally, I saw a lot of people getting benefit in the real world. So I said, okay, let's look at this research. It led to probably two years of research or so, I meaning me looking at the scientific studies, uh, probably about 80 hours, 100 hours, I would say on average, couple hours one week, none the next, probably an hour or so a week over the last, uh, well, let's say 52 weeks in a year, right? Two years. By now, the Science that I've seen is rock solid. I feel very comfortable now recommending a hydrogen-based water, and I'll get into that and how I test for it myself. So very specifically, what is hydrogen water? Well, all again, all water is hydrogen, but when a water has more hydrogen, it can create more of what's called a negative ORP. It's called oxidation reduction potential. Inside of high performance health, we talk about this, we call it redox, redox potential. And it essentially means inside of our bodies, especially as we're getting older or diseased, right, out of balance, we begin to build up more free radicals, inflammation. And that inflammation, of course, makes the disease state worse. So we have all these free radicals that are essentially missing an electron. They're missing negative ions. They need negative ions, those electrons, in order to become whole and no longer a free radical, creating inflammation and cellular destruction inside of your body. Okay, well, it happens that when you have higher hydrogen-based waters called molecular hydrogen, that we don't really need to get into the specific terminology, but molecular hydrogen water, you may hear it said that way. When that increases, meaning hydrogen goes up in the water, believe it or not, something called ORP goes down, and I wanna explain that. ORP is oxidation reduction potential. So I stated that. Now, if you want to, let's say, clean your swimming pool, you wanna actually have a higher ORP, because that what that will do is kill a lot of the pathogens, the bacteria, so you essentially want that. So now think about it, what's in your tap water? High ORP water. Well, what does that mean? Highly oxidized water. So the water that everyone is drinking that comes into their home is oxidized water. Chlorine is in it, fluoride is in it, all sorts of different chemicals are in it, right? So it raises the ORP, kills pathogens, kills bacteria, and that enables you then to have clean drinking water. Now I'm putting clean now in air quotes if you're watching this, of course, on YouTube, on video, uh, because it's not clean. It still has all those chemicals, right? It has now, they're saying PFAS, the forever chemicals, and of course it has heavy metals as well. None of that we want, all right. But on the other side of the equation then, even if you're using a good water filter, it is not lowering the ORP. 
meaning you're still getting oxidized water. Oxidized water equals oxidation in the body, which means more free radicals and more inflammation. You know I've said this before, but the three most important things that you can do right in this world that we live in, which is a toxic world, is clean air. We breathe all day long. We need that, right? Clean water. We drink hopefully eight to 10 glasses of water a day, goes into our coffees, our teas, our smoothies, all those things, and then clean food, right? Clean air, I'd probably say in that order, clean water and clean food. And that's so important. We can argue over which is one, two, or three, but we need all three, right? We need to really do our best to get each one of those. So now if we're drinking oxidized water, even if we are filtering it, it's not as great as it could be, all right? I'll give you some different things that you can do, but I wrote a huge, not a huge, I wrote a good sized blog post on this all about ORP, all about how to get a negative ORP, which means now you have antioxidant based water. You can find that at stephencabral.com slash hydrogen dash water. I have 30 scientific studies there. I have me using the ORP meter to show you the ORP readings on hydrogen water, on organic coffee, on uh, bottled spring water, on spindrifts, on tap water, on reverse osmosis. So you can check that out. I've got separate videos there. I'll probably put them up on YouTube, but you can just find them at stephencabral.com slash hydrogen water. And then for today's scientific studies that I'm getting into right now, I'll put those at stephencabral.com slash 3030. That is today's podcast, stephencabral.com slash 3030. 10 scientific studies that I wanted to bring you right now, 30 more uh, on that website. Okay. Here we go. First and foremost, I give you a little background to this, but if we increase the hydrogen in the water, that means we're lowering the ORP. We want a negative, right? We want a negative ORP. What are we going to get? Well, hydrogen rich water, HRW, I might refer to it as that, actually has been known to decrease the free radicals, neutralize their harmful effects, thereby improving overall oxidative stress in the body. So I can't name any names, but it could help with viral-based issues. Uh, it could help with overall systems-based health, organ health, anything that could be a problem like your thyroid with oxidation. Now, again, I have to share with you now, I can't provide any medical advice, medical treatment plans, medical cures, medical diagnosis. And I am in, in by no way, shape, or form saying that hydrogen water is a panacea. It's not a panacea. It's one more great thing for your health but not a panacea. Okay, the second one is this. It can improve exercise performance and muscular health. So here's a new study. Uh, participants in this study drank two liters of hydrogen water daily. Two liters is what, about uh, eight glasses? 16, 32? Yeah, about eight glasses, nine glasses or so of water. So they did that for two weeks. And what they found was improved energy, and reduced exhaustion. This was done in cyclists. It prevented abnormal body mass gain, which means basically body fat and muscle loss, and increased the assembly of antioxidants, uh, suggesting potential benefits for basically hydrogen water. Okay, so improvement in performance, body composition. The third one is this, weight loss, blood sugar issues, metabolic issues. All right. So long-term consumption of hydrogen water has helped in this specific study, mice, lose fat and weight by boosting fat and sugar metabolism without any dietary changes. Okay. So what do they do? Ate the same diet, right? But what it helped was to burn more fat and more sugar. Okay, great. Without doing anything else. For humans consuming hydrogen water, it decreased cholesterol. Again, I can't make any medical advice, but this is what the study showed. Decreased cholesterol, improve, improved glucose tolerance, and improved insulin resistance in patients with type 2 diabetes or prediabetes over an eight-week study. So even just in eight weeks, it worked. Moreover, a study conducted over 24 weeks on individuals with metabolic syndrome, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, um, and blood pressure, cholesterol, and basically blood sugar, so that's the big three, revealed significant improvements in their condition after consuming a uh, high concentration of hydrogen water. All right, next is on skin health and anti-aging. So hydrogen water has been shown to boost collagen and is a safe method to reverse skin aging and improve overall skin health, redness, and inflammation. Number five, overall heart and liver-based health. How does it help? It improves by decreasing the free radicals, the antioxidants, and the inflammation in the arteries, and that included the liver as well. 
Number six was brain and cognitive based health. So these are in animal studies, but we'll use animal studies for right now. That's okay. Animal studies suggest that hydrogen rich water can protect against neurological damage, especially following a brain injury like concussion, TBI, etc., uh, as well as oxidative stress and damage on the brain. The seventh, I can't say it's disease prevention, but it is on overall dementia, arthritis, and heart disease. I'll be doing a follow-up later, basically on the specific cause of mortality and how hydrogen water, again, it's not the panacea, can be one more thing that can be very beneficial, right? Like magnesium, beneficial for most people. Hydrogen water, beneficial for most people, right? So I'm just kind of giving you omega-3 is beneficial for most people. This could be just one more thing really beneficial for most people. All right. So uh, it helps to reduce inflammation, and as a result, it can help with a variety of different health-based issues. The next one is on blood lipids specifically. That would be on cholesterol and namely low-density lipoprotein, which is LDL. I know it's often referred to as bad cholesterol. I'm not going to get into that uh, today, but it can help with oxidized cholesterol. We certainly don't want that. And triglycerides. How does it help? It reduces oxidation in the body, which helps tremendously then with heart-based issues. Number nine is allergies. Allergies. Yes, allergies. Studies have indicated that hydrogen water may help combat allergies by suppressing inflammation and balancing the immune responses. Specifically in mice with eczema, hydrogen water improves symptoms by suppressing inflammation and balancing both the Th1 and Th2 responses, showing promise for those suffering from common inflammatory allergy-based conditions. And number 10, it can help with hearing loss as we age, as well as protecting the eyes. Research has shown for potential in hydrogen water to prevent hearing loss due to oxidative damage and protecting the eyes. So just remember, think of it this way. You've got tiny little capillaries that feed blood to the eyes. When they get inflamed, they are minuscule. And if the blood begins to leak or they become inflamed and the blood flow and nutrients can't flow in as well, it's going to deteriorate the eyes. We know that. Oxidative stress damages the eyes. And then in terms of hearing, well, the, as we start to get older and oxidative stress continues to multiply, it can affect all of our faculties, all of our senses. And so I thought this was an important one to bring to you as well. I want to bring a lot more, but today I just wanted to kind of run the gambit and share with you, this is all on PubMed. This is all very strict, rigorous scientific research. And as I said before, this is not the only thing that's going to help you get well, but this could be one piece of your overall healthy living based, let's say, uh, lifestyle routine that you may be doing good food, good nutritional supplements, air filter, sauna. If you're one of those people that is into their overall health and recovery, you may want to look into hydrogen water as well. The What I use with the water filter, because you still need a water filter, I'll share with you. That's at stephencabral.com slash hydrogen dash water. Basically a longer blog post, a lot of material on what ORP is, antioxidants, what I do for testing. I show you the testing videos. It was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed going through the process, uh, just like I did many years ago for sauna. So now we're going through the process for hydrogen water. Wanted to share this with you. And of course, today's show notes and the science plus the hydrogen water page will be at stephencabral.com slash 3030. Hopefully those two pages help for you and uh, all of your different research as well that you're doing, making sure that this is simply the right fit for you or your family. And of course, if it is, and this was helpful, do feel free to share the show with anyone you believe it could serve. Take care, everybody. Have an amazing rest of the day. Thanks so much for tuning into today's show. Before you go, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I want to make sure that you're getting our daily content, not missing out on anything. Functional medicine, wellness, weight gain, weight loss, anti-aging, living longer, stronger, and all of the most cutting edge research. And if there's any topics you want to hear, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Take care.